I've taken photos, I didn't video it, but down there are some huge bread fungi, massive things, clinging to one of the old stumps down there. Anyway, I'm nearly at the top now, it's levelling, look, and it's light. I did it, I was surprised at how well I've done that actually, because that was extremely steep and twisty and bendy, and I think I... Did that better than I did ten years ago. <sighs> See, ten years ago, <sighs> I'd probably only given up smoking um, about eleven years. So no, no, I'd only probably given up smoking about a year, um, ten or eleven years ago. Hear the siren? That's, they're going to do a blast. We might hear a bang in a minute. Now, see that footpath there? I've always wanted to try it out. But today, look what you'd have to go through. Look. That's a path to try out in the winter. Or with waterproofs on. And they've put a gate there, so it's... It's good. I'll be taking the other path, which should have defined pathways going, up off, going across the fields. Um, now, the only one of the reasons I didn't want to come this way was that it's, um, I didn't notice cows a couple of years ago, a couple of weeks ago. But the cows roam all over these fields up here when they've got cows. Um, and they do have a bull. I mean, I put, went through the field up here once. And sat in amongst the brambles was this massive bull. I mean, once I got she was chewing. He was all sat down. Then I had to pass about 20 cows. Now, those were the days before I'd been chased. Um, so I was, I was quite brave. Now, if you carry on round... I've seen signs saying keep out in there now. If you carry on round there, you come to the old quarry. There's possibly a way down back to Cheddar that way as well. But this is the way I'm going. This is the way I'm going. Yeah. Yeah, fields. Fields of wet grass. That's the only trouble. If I wanted to cut, do a bit of um, cross country, which you could do, I won't risk it. But there's possibility you could do a cross country straight across there to get nearer to the fields where I, I'm aiming for. But it's also a huge possibility, not only of getting soaking wet, but of cows and a big herd. Right, Cheddar Cliffs it says. Cheddar Cliffs on that sign. The sun's trying to come out. Here we've got a little stile. We've got a little friendly dog gate. You lift up like that. I haven't brought umbrella and I haven't brought any waterproofs. I've just got a windproof today. Actually, I can see a car, so I'm glad I'm not going in that field. I just zoom in over there on the hill. I spot a cow a mile away. I might have them in here yet. I'm have to totally change my plans. Look. Should come into view in a minute. The camera's playing up big time, mind. Look, cow. You won't get one cow on its own either. So there we are. This is a route to Cheddar Cliffs. And it might actually be quite well defined and not allowing me to get muddy and wet, as it looks like here. Right, so I've got to cross over. Get over the gate. They've said no rain today, so <sighs> see if I mean Zara's get, Zara gave me a little present yesterday. I, I forgot all about it and I haven't brought it out. Yeah, I'll experiment more locally with it in our local wood first. <sighs> it's a ah, cow pack. Look, cow pack fresh. 
the thing is the cows might have done a turn what they do they come down in this field and then they sort of rotate round when they first in the mornings or they they camp down there overnight and then move away so all I can do is keep my fingers crossed because <sighs> uh, most of the fences here are either bram totally brambleized <sighs> or barbed wired so cow pack cow pack I could get up to this tree and there could be a herd in front of me if that is the case I might there's another gate down there which I haven't tried before it could have thrown my whole walk out though the whole of my walk could be disturbed I've only got to go through I think it might be two fields hopefully they've moved off round let's have a look there's some trees up here they often go in now they've got quite a long let me have a look Right, before I go around the corner, let me have a quick look. Nothing so far, but sometimes they go in the trees. They could be around the back there. That's a sheep dip, by the way. They could be around the back. Looks quite fresh. Now when I get to the next gate, which is quite a while off, by the way, I'll be alright in the next field. It's just this one. And like I say, it could be round the back. Very fresh cow pack. But they might have moved off. I can't see any way to escape at the moment either. Okay folks, I'm going to turn off for a minute to keep my eyes peeled. All right, it's still quite a way for me to find a f to find the next gate. This is fresh. They could be under the trees. <sighs> Most of the time, this herd, a tractor's been over though. Most of the time, this herd aren't bothered by people like me because this is a public footpath. Right, over and out. Right, bit of videoing. The cows do actually come up and go around that way towards the gate. I might have bumped into them anyway. If I'd done the, the, the route I planned, plan A. This is plan B. This part of the route is. Right, I'm just going to put that up there. While I climb up over this precarious... Very precarious. Oh, Could you couldn't get over this in a hurry, could you? Oh, I'm struggling. Struggling to get over it. You might have to go up that side. Right, move the camera Sheila I'm trying to get up this bit's all wobbly I'll put it put the camera there that's it I'm trying to get up this side it's slippery the wood's slippery you'd be able to get over in a hurry if a cow came would you it's very slippery right use the fence I'm going to get over there, I don't know. It's 
all dangerous. It's all slippery. This is Sheila trying to get over a fence, everyone. I certainly wouldn't get over this in a hurry if there's a bloody ball coming. It's the wood slippery. Right, lean forward. It's knowing where to put your fucking foot. Everything's slippery, really slippery. That bit isn't so bad. Right, now go the other way. Dead dangerous. Put that there. That's not so bad. Wow, that was hard work. Right, folks. That was. Look how dodgy that is. That needs to be repaired because at the moment the wood, especially that side on those steps, not only the steps wonky, they're very slippery. Right, so there's a nice view. And they put barbed wire all over it. I don't think they want us to come this way. But there is a path, but it is a bit wet here. The good thing about these walking trousers is that they do dry out quick. Ah, I've got the meadow butterflies. So folks, basically I'm just going to follow this track rather than walk up there for a minute. Because they're not that old, these particular trainers they still got quite a bit of waterproof in them and they dry out but I knew that by changing my plan could have been good or bad because if I had done plan A which was to come up through the wood and then cross the fields and climb over the piney sites style what that would have meant was I could have bumped into that herd There's a, there is a herd, there is fresh cow pack now don't forget get as well I'm quite heavily laden up I've only drunk about a third of the water of my three bottles there's a whole pack of food there's all my camera equipment I have to very soon invest in a camera. This one is the only one now that's hanging out. This one's hanging out. They're past their sell-by date for repair. I expect they can be repaired, but the cost to repair them and to overhaul them outweighs buying another one. I mean, this camera alone costs about 350 90 something pounds and it's been very good I had two identical ones one is wrecked because of a sandstorm unfortunately I put it in my pocket and my pocket was full of sand uh, I've also noticed that I used it the other day but what's happening with that one it fades on one side you don't get complete picture, it fades. So I probably won't use that one anymore. This one is not obeying any of its normal rules either. Where you, where you turn the little dial.
to do this, that and the other. It's not obeying it, it's doing its own thing. But I mean, at the moment, it is working for a little while. But because I've got a lot of birthdays in the summer, a lot of family birthdays, and I've put on hold going anywhere this year, I call it my fallow year. I think that's that big tree I know there. Um, I call it my fallow year. And because uh, there's a lot of birthdays, there's an 18th. Next year isn't any better. I've got a child who will be 40, the youngest will be 40. I'll be, I was going to say I'll be 30, I'll be 70. But I usually treat myself on my birthday. But, uh, might be a new camera. I might have to have a camera before then. This, this one, yeah, there's that big tree. I cut across that field the other week. Yeah, so I remember seeing the three, they're like a reference point, those three trees there for this field. Right, I'm going to turn off, folks. Right then, folks, I'm recording. Just come across this field. A um, little bit wet, but these trousers dry out quickly. Um, if you're going out in the countryside, be prepared to get wet. Go prepared. I'm glad I never wore my shorts today. These uh, trousers are designed to dry out quickly. I said they're quite new shoes. I still put little hill sponges, foams in. It's extra support for the hill. Using one of the sticks the kids gave me for when well, it was for Christmas. I only got it the other week. So I hadn't seen them because of the COVID. It's getting higher the grass here. So if you wanted to get in that field perfect way in. you still got to negotiate barbed wire. Wow, look at that. And they're not in this field, but if you look back, if I just looked back then, those two cows really look like they're in this field, don't they? That is... But they're in the other one. Look like they're in this field. There's a big herd in that field over there. Big herd. Right, I'm nearly at the gate, folks, at Piney Slights. This is apparently, although it's another grey day, everyone, this is, seems a very common thing now. Lots of weird weather happening. They've got severe heat problems in parts of Canada. Lapland are now getting it. Uh, there's going to be a lot of disasters coming because this is going to melt the massive ice sheets. And to be quite honest, we need to move up Hilmi and Zara. And then the kids, we need to get off the flat areas. Yeah, see, there's that. See, there's that field there. See, on a nice hot sunny day, I just walk straight down through there now. But there's going to be a better track just over there. Over here. For me to negotiate. There's lots of goats in there. I don't know where they're keeping the cows, but there's definitely cows in that back there. Right, folks, just put the camera up there again while I get over another obstacle. Skills of the countryside. Fences, stiles, barbed wire, cows, weather, hills. Flooding, mud. <sighs> Got to get over another one now. We're going to go down 
past Piney Sykes Farm. The idea today, I'm probably only, a, I don't think I'm that far off if, if I'd come that way. Not a lot, could be, could be 20 minutes because that was a big hill I climbed back there. It was a big hill. So off we go again. Climb over another fence. This is Piney Slights. And there's lots of horrible biting flies about. Now this field here, there is some evidence of goat, but no evidence of cow. So it could be later I could actually